Look at this thing. All right, I'm downtown Orlando. Uh, I live in Orlando, not downtown. I used to actually, right off, not too far from here. But uh, I thought I would do a video. Um, not a lot of people know how actually beautiful downtown Orlando really is. Uh, Lake Eola. And I'm also going to incorporate here where Starbucks is, which is not easy to find in downtown Orlando. Um, what is it, the Grand Bohemian Hotel? The Grand Bohemian. That's right. There's a Starbucks in there. but It's owned by uh, Marriott. Yeah, that's right. We used to go there. That's where I had Demi's baptism. Or er, Christine. Anyways, we'll give you a quick shot here of Lake Eola. I wondered what Lake Eola looks like. Downtown Orlando. Let's kind of come out here. Hmm. I'll do another shot from your office because that's a beautiful view too, isn't it? Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. So yeah, a lot of people just come walking around here. Behind me is Central, which is behind this building. There's Joey. So yeah, that's that. A lot of people come and do the swans. I don't know if you could see that. You could come and rent the swans and kind of cruise around. It's very pretty. Here's the famous fountain. Take a little secret route here. You can take that street, which is central, basically head west, east, sorry, you gotta head east. But here's a little area you can come and walk on Lithiola. A lot of people come here. The swans, I was telling them. Yeah. So, yeah. There you go. It's kind of a chilly day today for Orlando. So yeah, they take this path and you can walk around the whole lake. Obviously people run around it. There you go. But yeah, like I said, I'm gonna show you a little quick route here. So there's the other pizza joint we were talking about. Thornton's. Uh, Anthony's on Thornton Park, I'm sorry. So we're on Summerlin. There's Graffiti Junction. I don't know if you ever heard of that place in Orlando. And there's a Starbucks I'm talking about. Not a lot of people know about it. And I just walked from actually over there. So right behind here is the lake. But if you go down Central, head east, or if you jump on Summerlin, and you basically head south, you are going to run into this little baby Starbucks here. And what's funny about this place is, if you come here, you got to park in the garage. They still make you pay for parking here, these assholes? For a coffee? They may even... No, they uh, let you validate for a half I, I think they validated Starbucks, but here you go. Yeah, it ain't too bad. Yeah, so there's Central. Down there. And here is... This is kind of just a little... I guess you could say this corner or very close it's called the milk district in orlando florida which is basically just east of this as well so anyways i could go in here it's a cute little starbucks been coming here for years just thought i'd show you that what's it today bambini modern italian baccato my buddy just told me that's a new place that opened up downtown right off of Lake Eola, so I'll incorporate that as well. All right, I'm going to get another view from this part of the lake. And what a lot of people don't know how small downtown Orlando truthfully really is compared to most. I mean, you have Orange Avenue. Compared to most downtowns, Orange Avenue is very... It is pretty. It is. I'll catch up with you later. All right, brother. So, like I was just saying, downtown Orlando is very small, actually, for the... A lot of people think it's a lot bigger than it is, uh, but it's not that big at all. There's mainly one major street that goes through it, truthfully. That's Orange Avenue, runs north and south. You also have the expressway, I-4, that runs north and south. As far as going east and west, you have Colonial Drive 50. Uh, what else would I say? Main roads going through, in and out. Um, you have the 408 
Expressway. But anyways, there's a bunch of smaller roads. But here, I'll give you a pretty view of downtown Orlando from the center. Well, not the center, on the outskirts center of Lake Yola. They have been growing tremendously downtown, but it's still pretty quaint for the most part. You still have more the magic play. What else would you have downtown Orlando? You have the Dr. Phillips Center, the Bob Carr Center downtown. And here's some but this is basically the center of downtown Orlando. I just thought I'd give a quick shot. I was having pizza with my buddy down here. So there you go, um, downtown Orlando. I'm not gonna go everywhere. I just thought I would give a shot here. Uh, Lake Yola, that's what most people come to visit, um, amongst other things. Downtown Orlando, there's a lot of partying at night. Uh, so if you are coming here at night, it gets a little different than during the day. So just a heads up regarding that. But yeah, if you get a chance, subscribe to my channel. I'm always going to be posting unique places I go to um, all over North America, Italy soon. And I'm also, uh, where else am I at? I got a podcast, The Rich Chalenza Show, WTF Are You Talking About? I got a program out called Mastering Self-Confidence. I am on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook as well. So yeah. There you go. All right. Take care, and I wish you nothing but the best.